Hello and welcome. My name is Tech. I'm going to show you today how to replace a keyboard on the Dell Inspiron 1545. But the procedure I'm going to do works, really works in almost all uh, Dell Inspiron as well as other Dell laptops. Um, the procedure is really quick and pretty much anybody can do it. So uh, I'll show you how to do it and also uh, what you should do first. Uh, when your keyboard start, starts working, usually one of the keys, or perhaps if you're missing key, uh, you can get a replacement keyboard for about fifteen to twenty dollars on eBay, Amazon, and or other websites. Uh, one thing I, I came across in uh, replacing keyboards in the past is that even though it's the same model keyboard that you're ordering, it may not be the, exactly the same. So I suggest you try to uh, check the key, make sure that keyboard is the, exactly what you're trying to purchase. Uh, so best idea, since it's really easy, take the keyboard out, check the model number of, on the back, and that way you can check the wiring, make sure this, the ribbon is the same, and it will be a perfect fit. A lot of times what happens is same model, same same laptop, uh, has two different keyboards just because where it was the laptop was made. So let me sh get to it, how to replace the keyboard. In most laptops, and this one as well, what you want to do is always flip it aside, take out the battery. Pretty much anytime you're working on the laptop, you want to take out the battery to prevent damage. So what you want to do is look in the back, and you're looking for screws under the battery. In this case, I have two right here that I can see. They're not marked anything specifically, they're just right there in the middle. Usually when you have a lot uh, screws in the laptop, they're meant for unscrewing something. Uh, so what we're going to do is unscrew those two screws. Put them on the side for safekeeping. We're going to flip it back up. Open the laptop. And in most laptops, <clears throat> especially Dell, what you need to do is re remove that top cover right here in order to get to the keyboard on some keyboard on some laptops you can just actually pop the keyboard and it will just pop out you can see that it will be a little slot for for a screwdriver so you can so you can pry a little bit and it will pop up but most time most of the time they're actually screwed in i seen both ways so uh one thing is check see if you, there's a spot where you can actually pry the keyboard from here but if not uh you want to do what you want to do is actually pry the top cover off. In this in this laptop particular one, actually I can see that there's a slot for a screwdriver right here on the right side. So you can see that. It's right there on the right side. So what I'm gonna do is put my screwdriver in there and pop it up. Now then after that you can probably it's safer to use if you use your hands that way you don't break anything. Just slide your finger below it so that way all of it comes out now that we get the cover off you will see that we have two screws holding the keyboard right here one here and one here right on top so we're gonna take that off put the screw aside make sure you don't lose the screws because they're small and they're really easy to lose Okay, second one. Now what you want to do is take a screwdriver or something even plastic to, to, uh, to pry. We're going to push the keyboard out. See how it slides out. There are clips on the back so to hold it. So we want to make sure we slide it out. Uh, be careful not to pull the keyboard. What you want to do is flip it you will see a ribbon with a small screwdriver or even by, by a finger. What you want to do is pry the plastic up so that way the ribbon just comes out. So what I suggest always, ch check the model number of the uh, keyboard, that way you get the right part and look at this, the ribbon as well. Make sure it's similar to what you're ordering because a lot of times uh, you'll see a ribbon that comes from here and there's no way to actually connect, it'll be short or or in a wrong place. So 
if because it's not a hard job, always check the keyboard first before you order the keyboard. Okay, we're gonna toss this one out on the side. I'm gonna grab a brand new keyboard. Alright, this one you see it's, it shows a little bit differently just because it's not glued, but I did check prior to ordering it, make sure that I did get the right keyboard. So we have a little sticky here for glue. So we can take that out. Glue it. It's the way it shows exactly as the older one, as you can see. And this one is also bent, so we're gonna have to bend this ribbon as well. So let's take it approximately. This one is it doesn't have to be exactly inches to in to uh, millimeters to millimeters, but try to be precise if possible. I mean, you're gonna do this once and it's gonna stay there, but it's, you want to sort of imitate what's already on a, on the existing keyboard. So that way, as you can see, both of them will look alike. So now that we glued it, we folded the ribbon. Don't over there just so you don't break it. Now we're gonna take the ribbon, pop the plastic up. Let me see if I can get you a zoom for it. Okay. Blue up most of the time. So this is up. Put it in the right place. It should fit in perfectly. Then we're going to close it. We know the ribbon's folded now. Place it in. Make sure it's in properly. Okay. Now we're gonna screw the keyboard back in. Don't force it. If if it's not fitting properly, that means there's something wrong, and you should double check why it's not. Uh, going in properly. Screw that one in. Second screw. All right. Now we want to put the plastic again. So just like we took it off, we want to follow the exact same pattern, putting it back in. So we're going to slide those clips here, make sure they fit. Press it in so that all the, way, all the clips click. All right, we're going to close the laptop, flip it over. Put our screws back in. Those are the screws that actually hold that back uh, cover. So that's why we want to take those off first. Um, sometimes what I found in other laptops is there's a screw right in the middle that actually holds the, the keyboard. So if you see there's a screw right there somewhere and your keyboard is not, doesn't want to, no matter what you're trying to do, doesn't want to come out, chances are there's a screw right here in the, that you can see actually from top that actually holds the keyboard. But most of the time it's not. It's I've seen occasions where that happens. That is in, uh, on some laptops, other brands. Okay, let's put this one back in. This is one thing where you don't. It's not good to have big hands because everything is so small. See, this screw does not want to connect, so since we have to push the cover back in because it popped out. Okay, this one is going in. Go back, flip it. As you can see, this one popped out. Okay, try it again. Okay, this time it did work. 
You put a battery back in. <coughs> and we all set. We got a brand new keyboard installed and all set, ready to go. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm available and um, I pretty much answer questions pretty fast. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my, my bl uh, blog as well as my YouTube channel for more videos and information on fixing laptops, computers. Thank you.